Hi, it's Dave Shinsky of Baseball Rebellion here. Uh, this week's breakdown is going to be of a Brazilian 15-year-old, Eric uh, Pardinho. Um, yep, he's 15 years old, 5'8", 165 pounds. Um, he only got to throw two-thirds of an inning, but in that two-thirds of an inning, um, saw saw some good stuff from, from this young kid. Uh, I really liked his mechanics, but again, he's 15 years old throwing... You know, 94, 95, average 92. Um, so I wanted to go over his uh, his mechanics. I got a back view and a side view. Uh, we'll start with the the back view. Um, he has this little step back. So I, I, I was I was talking to one of my colleagues and I was I was telling him that um, I see a lot of uh, Japanese uh, guys uh, do the same same thing with their back leg. They they kind of get into that back leg and and pause. Um, before they come up into their leg lift, and um, <clears throat> I was wondering if he was kind of emulating any uh, Japanese players, um, because he kind of has the similarities uh, of his lower half. Um, so one thing he does as he comes up into his leg lift, um, I want to talk about his momentum uh, down the hill. Uh, what we teach here at Baseball Rebellion is... Um, I teach an imaginary line uh, behind my backside, all right, so directly uh, connected to my backside. And what I want to do is feel my, uh, my glute, which is my backside muscle, um, engage and drive past this uh, imaginary line. So I have drawn a line, um, and let's see if he gets past it. Uh, so again, he doesn't really move past that. He doesn't get uh, the drive as, uh, as, as good as I want or um, as I think he could. Uh, again, a lot of Japanese guys uh, do the same movement of the lower half. And uh, I'll switch the screen, screen here uh, so you can see exactly what I mean through his uh, side view. As he comes up into his leg lift, um, he has that straight leg. A lot of those Japanese guys have that straight leg. And uh, it, it's kind of a false way of falling down the hill. Um, or driving downhill, I should say. It's more of a fall down the hill. And I want you to notice, like, when he gets past his front hip um, with his foot, then you see the drive of his ankle and back knee, okay? So, um, again, I see, I see guys like uh, Chapman do this also. So, again, um, it's, it's efficient, but... I think he has more in his body, okay? I think he has more in his lower half. Uh, from this position is where he really gets good, um, into foot strike. So again, he's <clears throat> he's into foot strike here, and on the side view, let's say here, all right? And, and I don't see many pitchers, let alone 15-year-olds, getting to this position. I want you to see his hips. Now I can see both of uh, pretty much all his belt. So that's about 90 degrees. So if you're thinking about um, how his hips are facing, I would say first base and third base. It's really, really interesting to see a kid this age uh, get to that position. Uh, the only guy I really see do, doing that in the big leagues uh, at this, I would say, level of opening their hips and having having their front uh, or their upper body totally closed off is uh, is Chapman, and he throws the ball 100 and 105 miles an hour. So again, from this side view, look at how far his hips are rotated and how closed his shoulder, shoulder is. So he's really, really creating a lot of separation from his front hip, from his back hip, or front hip to his back shoulder. And that's where um, velocity is definitely co correlated to, um, to body movements, okay? Now, again, look at his back foot and knee are totally almost 90 degrees with the ground and his heel is facing straight up. Um, from here, uh, you see a lot of you know big arms and big throwers from this position. Um, come off the ground with their back foot. So what I want you to watch is as he uh, rotates through his throw, how good he is with his front hip and front leg bracing up and his back foot staying on the ground. So as he comes through, all the way through, great direction, 
All right, and you can tell by his back view of, of his direction, he's got a great um, linear move and, and shoulder tilt. Um, he keeps his head still, so his spine angle is really good. Um, and again, watch as he comes through with the side view. His front, his front hip bracing up, his front knee bracing up, and his back foot staying on the ground. So through, uh, through ball release, he gets this good V in his lower half. And um, believe me, um, I try to teach this, this drill and this, uh, this move, but sometimes it, it, you know, it's, it's just you know, talent and God-given um, because I don't think you can actually um, mentally do this during the throw and uh, have success so I think it's a physical thing but also it has to be practiced okay so um, this this kid is is really talented um, he has some room for improvement but uh, through his foot strike and finish uh, I, I don't see many big leaguers with uh, with these movements and mechanics that he has so uh, I have a lot of promise for this kid in the future and, and I really look forward to seeing him more than two-thirds of an inning um, as he gets uh, as he gets older so um, that's Eric Bardino of Brazil 15 years old 5 foot 8 165 pounds throwing 94 95 and, and, and I just um, I just believe that he has he has room to to improve, especially with his his breaking ball and um, and off speed. Uh, but his fastball and his mechanics and movements are, are second to none, especially as a 15 year old. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this breakdown. It's been Dave Shinsky at Baseball Rebellion. Thanks a lot.